morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? You are the only person who calls me, Jack. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have a visual on the anomaly. It seems to be growing more unstable. My God. Incoming, Jack! Olivia, everything is going to be fine. <coughs> are you injured? What the hell is this? I am called Apollo. I mean you no harm. Ready to execute FTL jump. His digital cortex is showing minimal synapse activity. Jack? I think he can hear me. I wish you had told me sooner that you were trying to repair him. I might have been more of a help. Just keep the connection stable. There. There, you see? Now here's a sight for sore eyes. Good morning, Sunshine. How are we feeling? I don't know, Captain. Oh, do you know? The unit appears disoriented. Yeah, time traveling 400 years into the future will do that to you. Are you certain he's fully functional? Go on, Jack. Tell her you're all right. I think so. A little confused. I don't doubt it. You've been out of commission ever since our little time jump on the Astraea. Maybe we should run through his calibration program. I just spent the past three months patching him up. You think I made a mistake? Well, you're only human. Well, how about we ask him? What do you think, Jack? You want to run your calibration program? That won't be necessary. Sorry, Juno. He's not interested. An android willing to blatantly disregard protocol. I wonder where he learned that. It is a mystery. Well, go on then. It's time we got him out of there. I'm not sure I'm comfortable letting an untested android loose in the habitat. Forgive me, but who are you? My name is Juno, a multifunctional, fully transient artificial intelligence. I have been assigned as your caretaker. That's one word for it. Captain, please, I... What was that? Just a minor fluctuation in the power grid. Not to worry. That's the fourth time just this morning. I assure you, Captain, it's nothing to be concerned about. I'll be right back. And there she goes. Come on, let's get you out of that contraption. There we are. Come on out. Try and take it slow. You've been offline for nearly four months. How does that feel? I'm... a little stiff. You may have left out a part. Or two. Wait, really? Can you tell me which ones? I'll try and... Hold on. You're just messing with me, aren't you? I am, yes. Well, I'm glad your sense of humor is still intact. Okay, so... physically, you seem to be in order. But I know you've probably got a few questions. I could do with some catching up, yes. You bet. Ask me whatever you like. Or, if you'd rather, I can give you a quick tour of our new home. Whatever you want to do. I could use a moment if that's all right. By all means. Take all the time you need. Just give us a shout when you're ready to go. At least you can still monitor your swear count. Well, sort of. That thing's not quite right anymore. How so? Ever since I got it back, it's been counting words that aren't even curses. Must be an error in its vocal processing algorithms. See what I mean? How peculiar. Are these scorch marks a result of my breakdown? Yes. 
I'm getting the impression there's more to this story. Well, I mean, while I was trying to fix you, I may have accidentally set you on fire. I beg your pardon? It only happened once. No, wait, twice. But you're here now, so it's fine. happened to me? Truth be told, I'm not sure. We were on the Astraea, still trying to wrap our heads around the fact we'd just, you know, time traveled, when you started crashing one system at a time. I, I barely managed to save your core memory. Luckily, it kept you alive long enough for me to work out how to fix you. Thank you, Liv. Please. You saved my life how many times? The very least I could do was return the favor. Thanks for waiting. Not a problem, shall we? Perfect. I swear sometimes it feels like this place is just a hair's breadth from falling to pieces. Hmm. That usually works. Where exactly are we? We're on a space station orbiting Saturn. That sounds familiar. Well, not our old station, obviously. After we made our jump to the future, we were picked up off the Astraea and brought here and placed in isolation. Isolation? Juno says it's standard procedure. <laughs> As if there is such a thing for time travel. Ah, there we go. Honestly, I wish I knew more about this place, but Juno's not exactly been forthcoming with the details. Hey, maybe now that I've got you back, we can work on getting some answers. And here we have the luxury suite. It's a far cry from my old room on the Kronos, but I think I've managed to spruce it up a bit. What do you think? You appear to be settling in well enough. Not much choice, really. I mean, it's not as though we can just hop a charter back to the 22nd century. Juno's let me co-opt a few cargo drones to dig through what's left of the Kronos. The Kronos 2 is still out there. I mean, I can't be sure, but yeah. I think there are at least one or two sections that managed to stay in orbit after all these years. Plus, there was quite a bit of debris that got pulled into the future with us. And it's a good thing, too. Otherwise, I'd never have found all the parts I needed to fix you. to say. I don't think I've ever been more relieved to see you. If there's anything more you want to know, just ask and I'll do my best to answer. And whenever you're ready, we can move on. What happened to your helmet? Ah, oh, the locking ring was jammed. I couldn't get it off without breaking the assembly. Don't suppose it matters, really. It's not like we're going anywhere. Ready to move on? Could I have a moment? By all means. Take your time. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. Shall we continue? Of course. Right this way. The common room's just through here. Our new home, such as it is. Captain Rowe, 
Ah, oh, Juno. There you are. We were beginning to worry. Somehow I doubt that. I thought you'd like to know. We have another cargo drone inbound. How long? A few minutes. Maybe more. Ah, oh, perfect. So we have some time then. If you'd like, Jack, go on and have a look around. This looks familiar. I know, right? Shame we're missing the gold. Go a few rounds. How many hours did we burn playing that stupid game? 2,347. Approximate. Jack. That is together, of course. Not counting all the time you had to spend practicing. Rhetorical question, Jack. I would venture this bobblehead is now considered an antique. Well, technically, so are we. And I gotta say, I look pretty good for being 446 years old. You do realize that's not your true age. I'm sorry, what year was I born? 2091. And what year is it now? Based on your assertion, 2537. Right, which means I was born... 446 years ago, but... No, no, no buts. This is an impressive greenhouse. I know, right? Whenever I was feeling a bit depressed, I found going down there was a surefire way to cheer me up. Is your mental health still compromised? I could run a battery of tests on a scale of one oh, to... no, no, no. I'm fine, Jack. Really. With you back online, I'm good. I promise. Do we have an update on the drone? I'm sure it won't be much longer. Actually, since we're here, there's something I want to show you. Do you remember when the Astraea first arrived and I thought it was an alien ship? But it wasn't. It was a human ship from the future. This future. Right, but here's the thing. Look at this AI core from the Astraea. I've been on this station for a while and I can find nothing. Not a single piece of tech compatible with this core. Almost as if it doesn't belong here. That is... odd. That's far from the only mystery I'm trying to suss out at the moment. And since we know Juno is not going to be of any help... I wish I could assist you, Captain, but I'm afraid my directives forbid me from doing so. See what I mean? So, it's up to us to go digging round for answers on our own. And here is where I'd like to start. A hollow table? Much like the one we had back home on the Kronos, apart from one small difference. Which is? It doesn't work. The display emitter's shot. If we can replace the emitter, get this thing working, we might be able to access the facility's mainframe. I suppose you've already tried hitting it. Many, many times. Not to worry. I've got a friend looking out for a spare emitter. A friend? He'll be along shortly with one of the cargo drones. Captain Rhodes, speaking of the cargo drone... Is it on approach? It is, yes. We'll need you to open the outer door, so the cargo drone can dock with the ham. Jack? Would you mind terribly? Not at all. Splendid. The controls are up here. Outer door opening. Thanks. I'm heading up. Look. There's the Astraea. Well, what's left of it, anyway? What happened to the four section? Must have broken off when we made the jump. Stayed in the past. <sighs> Don't suppose we'll ever manage to make it back. Ah, here comes our little friend now. Look familiar? No, not really. Hmm, must be a glitch in your memory archive. Maybe I did miss a few parts after all. This is popcorn. It's about time.
time. I was starting to think you'd been lost. You call him Popcorn. Well, it's certainly better than P09-CRN. Don't you think, Echo One? Fair point. So, did you find an emitter? And it's going to work this time? Close enough. All right, Jack, let's start pulling in the salvage. Where do you need me? There's a delivery chute along the wall to my left. It looks like a big tube sticking out of the wall. Head over there, would you? On my way. I'll pull in the salvage. You scan and identify it. Understood. Come on, best let him out of there before he pops a circuit. Looks like he's managed to pick up some radiation. Best I can tell, that means thing. Yes, hello. So, the display emitter is inside? Ah, excellent. Let's finish sifting through the rest of the salvage. Well, I'll be buggered. Is that a... Sorry. Adam? Yeah. Adam the Ankylosaurus. Would you like to keep him? Well, cool. I mean, we don't need it, but I suppose it could be nice to break it up on one of the consoles or something. I suppose there's no harm in keeping it. Not at all. He jumped 400 years. Same as us. We time travelers have to stick together. See? There you go. It appears to be one of my upper extremities. Or more accurately, what's left of it. Now just repeat that a few hundred more times and you'll start to get an idea of what it took to piece you back together. What should I do with this? What do you like? It's your hand, after all. We may as well keep it. Perhaps it might prove useful. Don't you mean it might come in handy? Was that a serious question, or was that meant to be funny? Neither, apparently. <sighs> Let's just move on, shall we? Shall I run decontamination? Yes, please. Nice work, Popcorn. All right. Now we're off to places. Let's get that emitter down to the hollow table. About time we got some answers. I'll meet you down there. On my way. Emitter installed. I'll squeeze underneath and reset the circuit. Right, just give me a tick. Hmm, how's that? See anything up there? I'm seeing an image, but it's glitching. All right, give me a moment. Okay, if I'm reading these schematics right, the only way we're going to sort this out is by doing a complete master reset. 
As you might expect, there's a number of steps involved. I'm going to need your help here. Okay, you should be seeing a keypad up there. In order to start the reset process, you'll need a specific command code. Try... 0915? Stand by. Confirmed. Code accepted. The system is requesting I use a slider to confirm. It is, however, locked. All right, I can unlock it, but this step requires a bit of coordination. I'll need to disconnect the circuit at the same time you confirm the reset. On the count of three. Yes, on three. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'll unlock it. One, two, three. Ah. Uh... So, how'd that work out? I'm detecting an increased amount of hydrocarbon particles in our vicinity. Is something burning? Oh, shit. Shit! Ow, that's hot! Okay, so we're gonna need another power coupling. Should be a replacement kicking around here somewhere. Think you could track it down for me? Any idea where to start? I'm sure there's a spare power coupling hanging around close by. You know where it is. Well, go on then. I'm on it. Here you are. Thanks, Jack. Just give me a sec. There. Power coupling installed. Give me some good news. Sorry, Captain. I'm afraid it's a lost cause. Hold on. No, it isn't. It worked. More or less. More or less. The image is somewhat distorted. Well, that won't do. Hang on. How's that? Better? Yes, that rectified it. Tyron Station Network Access Client. Habitat Alpha online. Mainframe connection established. Synchronizing control devices. Liv, you're beeping. Personal user interface synchronized. Well, that's helpful. All right, let's see what we can dig up. Here we are, Habitat A. Those icons. That must be us. I was right. We're the only ones here. Yes, well, this has all been terribly enlightening. Shall we move on? Okay, so there's no one else in the hab. But what about the rest of the station? This is everything. Affirmative. This image represents all of Chiron Station. Right. Let's see who else is on board. Jack, you mind taking a look at the map while I keep searching on here? Of course. We've got some questions that need answering. This part of the facility appears to be under construction. You think there'd be someone around there? No reading. That's odd. Not showing any occupants in the research wing, either.
Every branch of the station connects to this structure here, the transit hub. Still no signs of any crew, or anyone at all, really. The station's generator is deserted as well. You see that readout? Running a little hot, would you say? Indeed. That would explain the power fluctuations we've been experiencing. Pretty good bet. We're not receiving any signal from the other habitat. That's not a good sign. If there was anyone left, the other habitat would be where I'd expect to find them. There's no one. The station's deserted. According to this, we're alone. Juno, what the hell? Where's the crew? Technically, I never said there was a crew on this station. So we're alone here? I didn't say that either. Oh, forget it! I'm not going round in circles with you again. There's got to be something else. Captain Rose. Juno, unless you're about to explain to me exactly what the hell's going on, I would keep quiet. Hang on. I think I might have hit upon something here. Looks like a priority message on a loop. Priority alert. Containment protocols breached. Multiple branch sectors compromised. General evacuation order has been issued. Oh dear. Evacuation order? Proceed immediately to your designated lifeboats. Message will repeat in one minute. All right, Juno. Start talking. Captain Rhodes, I assure you, there is no need for concern. Uh-oh. Uh-oh? What do you mean, uh-oh? I think we need to evacuate. What was that? That was an electrical malfunction. What sort of electrical malfunction? Oh, the kind we don't need to worry about. Right, Juno? That last energy spike overloaded one of our substations. The house power grid is collapsing. How do we stop it? We can't. At least not from here. So we're just supposed to sit here and do nothing? Juno. All right, listen carefully. I may only have a few moments before we lose contact. Jack, I'm unlocking your reactive cutter. There's an emergency release on the door leading out of here. You can use your cutter to gain access. You still have some time before the hab becomes unsafe. Make your way to the terminal. There should be a tram there that will take you to- Juno? Juno, acknowledge. We've lost contact. You know, I always thought I'd enjoy this moment a bit more. Perhaps we should- Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Still a lot of questions that need answering, and sticking around here is not going to help us. Plus life support is failing. Uh, yeah, plus that. This must be the emergency release here. Behind this panel on the door. I'll take a look. I should be able to cut through the bolts that secure the panel. Allow me to perform an in-situ calibration. You should be able to press the button on your wrist to activate your cutter. Cutter deployed. Cutter is functional. Good. Now, let's cut off that panel. One. Two. Three. Four. I bet pulling that release handle will open this door. Nice! That did it! Here, help me pull it open. You take that side. Jack, hold on. Before we go out there... Listen, that shell you're in now... That's the only one of you there is. If something happens to you out there, if you get shut down... That's it. You're... Go on. What about you? Without an EVA suit, you're considerably more vulnerable than I am. Sure. But I'm used to it. It's not really something you've ever had to think about before. You'll be fine. Just 
Try and remember what I said, okay? All right, Liv. Well, here we go. At least emergency lighting still seems to be active. Power's still up in this area. I doubt that will last. We should keep moving. Sign above the door says, to tram. That's where we're headed. Whoever built this plate... Initializing scan. Initializing contagion. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, that did just probably shave a couple of years off my lifespan, but... Let's hope not. What the hell was that? Most likely some form of security measure. That must not work too well if we're tripping it on the way out. It doesn't appear to be working at all anymore. Door's sealed. We must have triggered some kind of lockdown procedure. Not seeing any sort of emergency release or access panel. You'd expect there'd be some sort of override or... Liv, up here, there's a control room. Let's see. If there is a way to get the door open, I expect that is where we'll find it. Yes, now we just have to find a way inside. But how? All the doors are locked. Yes, exactly. This... this... damn contraption. Containment protocol. Please proceed to the infirmary for further instructions. Good enough. Yeah, let's check it out. An infirmary, right next to security? Yeah, strange. You know, this place looks... familiar. Let's have a look around. Why have medical beds in such close proximity to security and the habitat? Could be... a few of the occupants were immunocompromised? Perhaps. Anyway, keep looking. We need to find a way into that control room. We might have been able to leave through this airlock, if only you had an EVA suit. Hold on. I remember this. This is where we were first brought on board. I remember Juno cycled the pressure too fast. You what? Well, I may have vomited all over the airlock. Oh, well, the good news is the door is sealed. Probably for the best. This control panel appears to be sealed, though what it actually controls, I'm not sure. Only one way to find out. Well, only one quick way. Cut the panel off. Exactly. Well? I think I may have just gotten access to the maintenance ducts. Nice find. But the controls are faulty. The access way won't stay open long enough for me to get inside. Scoot over. Maybe I can hold it open for you.
Didn't see much light up there, by the way. I assume my headlamp still works? Should do. Just press the switch on either side of your head. Headlamp checks out. Good to go. Right. I'll hold open the hatch. You head up into the ducts. Ready? Ready. There, it's open. Head on up. What do you see? Very little. I suspect these ducts have not been accessed in quite some time. See if you can find a path to the control room. We may be coming up on the control room. Stand by. There's some grating blocking access to the control room. I might be able to cut through. Do it. Not like anyone's gonna notice. Resembling door controls up there. Give me a moment to investigate. There is a keypad here, but I don't know the access code. Do you think there could be any chance someone's gone and left it written down somewhere nearby? I would sincerely doubt it. Do people really do that? Happens a lot more often than you might think. That is grossly negligent. I wouldn't say grossly. You've done it before, haven't you? Look, we're burning oxygen here. Go on, uh, see what else you can find. There's an emergency override switch embedded into the console here. It's not immediately clear how to access it. You'd think they'd want the emergency override to be easily accessible. In case of, you know, emergencies. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's what our keypad unlocks. This appears to be some sort of recharge station, similar to the induction panels on the Kronos. Hmm, well, add it to the list of things that might be useful. Keep looking. There has to be a way to get these doors open. What about this drone? I think it's seen better days. It lacks power. Okay, well, let's see if our induction charger can revive him. Stand by. Recharging. You're thinking it might have the passcode? The unit's drive data might still be salvageable. Without your scanner, you'll need popcorn to extract the data. Popcorn, you can help him out there, yeah? Seems he might have hit upon something. I think he just passed an objective to my arm computer. A bit bossy, aren't you? Popcorn has passed me the security code. One, four, five, one. Well, let's give it a try. Override unlocked. That did it. Security's lifted. Come on out of there. I'll meet you in the next corridor. On our way. Come on, Popcorn. Let's go. Great, well done in there. Yes, yes, you too. 
Well, there's actually a tram here. I was starting to worry... Captain Rhodes, can you hear me? Juno? Juno, your signal is very faint. The power grid is continuing to collapse. In order to depart, two problems need to be resolved. One, the tram is disengaged from the transit rail line. The second issue is that the exit airlock has been... damaged. I'm uploading the schematics for the tram station to the captain's risk computer. Juno. Ah, delightful. She uploaded the tram schematics. Hmm. These look, um, a bit in-depth. Right, let's see. Moving tram from maintenance rail to transit rail. Let's see, rail cross index walkthrough, which is, ah, inaccessible without peak clearance. Lovely. Or, Popcorn can just point out the rail lines. Also works. Not entirely sure, but I believe that's Popcorn speak for this is the maintenance rail. And this is obviously the transit rail. The one that actually goes somewhere. So we'll need to get the tram over to it. She also mentioned the tram airlock is no longer functional. Right. That's the other issue. Here, let's multitask. I'll take a look at the airlock while you tackle the tram. Divide and conquer. Well, at least one of those. What's first? Well, these instructions are somewhat dense. It mentions aligning four stasis projectors alongside the tram. These must be them. Align stasis projectors. I'm on it. Right. Now, let's see how damaged this airlock actually is. Oh my god. They've really mucked up these controls. Can they be repaired? Definitely not. Well, maybe. This projector arm appears to be extendable. Acknowledged. Projector in place. Excellent. Just three more to go. Second projector in place. Support failure. Please proceed to the nearest evacuation point. Liv? Yeah, I heard. Thanks. Don't worry. Oxygen levels remain well above nominal. There's still time to get you somewhere safe. All projectors locked in place. Excellent. Okay, we still need to raise the projector arm. All projector arms raised. Easy peasy. It also mentions a release control panel that should be located below the tram. I'm on it. Words, words. Looks like the next step is moving the tram itself over. It mentions a tram control console on the boarding platform. I will keep an eye out.
Liv, this console has been damaged. Well, shit. Affirmative. Suggestions? Maybe see if there's a manual control that can be used instead. I found a sealed auxiliary panel. It's worth a look. Let's get it open. I've located a control panel. Hmm. Give it a try. Just about wrapped up these airlock repairs. How are things looking on your end? I'm nearly finished here as well. The trams now aligned underneath the transit ramp. Chiron Station, Dragon Transit Online. Now boarding. Shall we? There's a control panel in the front. Mind doing the honors? Destination set. Please prepare for departure. Hold on to something, Jack. Departing for transit hub in three, two, one. Transit speed in three, two, one. 